<laughs> hey guys, today I'm here for a quick little update on this little stinker. I just currently found her messing with the toilet paper in the bathroom while I was getting this camera ready. So she's a hot mess today and I'm not sure if she's gonna sit still for us, but we're gonna try our best. One of her current favorites is my phone. What is it with the kids and phones? Is it because the parents are looking at their phones all the time? Hey, stop touching my camera. Same with my camera. The parents are touching their phones all the time so the kids feel like, oh, this must be a cool thing or is it because it lights up or what's happening here, guys? Mm. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> um, before we get the video started, I did want to tell you guys, I know in my last update, which I was late on and I'm on time for this one, so they're kind of very close together. But at her 10 month update, I said that I was gonna uh. weigh her and I haven't, but I will say, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, definitely follow me there. I've been posting lots of pictures lately, but she is wearing size, mainly size 12 months, but if we buy her anything new, she wears 18 months. And also she is wearing some 18 months that's just like a tiny bit loose. And Jackson was wearing a pair of 18 month shorts the other day that were actually a little bit tight. It's probably one of the last times he'll wear that size, but he is still in, he's still wearing 2T right now. Um, and so they were wearing the same size shorts yesterday. So she is a growing girl. Here she is eating my phone. I should have brought something in here for her. Here, chew on your necklace. <laughs> Um, so we're going to do this update real quick. I'll definitely have her stats for the next update because it'll be her one year and she'll, um, go to her appointment. But the main change this month is that she has changed car seats. She has changed from an infant car seat to a convertible car seat and it was definitely needed. She was getting big for that infant car seat. The infant car seat was getting old because it was the car seat that we used for Jane and Jackson and it was just, she was just ready to be out of it. So we got Jane a booster seat. <laughs> you just pop that necklace right off. We got Jane a booster seat and now Piper is using Jane's old convertible car seat. And the other reason why is because we definitely didn't want to spend like $400 on a new car seat. So we just kind of gave Jane the cheaper booster seat. Not not cheap, but it is cheaper in price um, booster seat and gave Piper the old car seat. So that is the main difference. She isn't acting like she loves it or anything. I'm not expecting her to like smile every time we put her in the chair but I can tell she definitely has more space and that she enjoys that. She really wants this camera, guys, so we'll see how long this lasts. Okay, let's get right into the walking situation here. This girl, I know she can walk. I know she can do it. She has a few things that are setting her back, though. What is the deal? She has a few things that are setting her back. Number one is that if she really, really wants to get something like we'll say like come get this toy or something she will get down and crawl because she knows she can crawl faster so it's a matter of what kind of mood she's in if she's gonna stand there and try to walk or if she's just gonna get frustrated and want to get down here she comes <laughs> but say hi guys <laughs> Oh, you are a stinker. Then you can play with it. What about your daddy's watch? Don't tell daddy. She's trying to keep up with um, Jackson and Jane as well, so she really thinks that she could just crawl faster instead of this, like, not walking nonsense. And also her, same with just trying to keep up, her top half goes a lot faster than her bottom half. So if you guys have been watching our vlogs, I've been posting lots of clips of us practicing, and she'll take one or two steps for sure and she can definitely balance for minutes long she'll just stand there and just balance um, she's done squats and all sorts of stuff so she has the great balance for it but she wants her top half to go so much faster than her bottom half and then she ends up falling so anyways it's probably going to be any time this month i think that she'll walk unless she just doesn't want to or doesn't care then it won't happen this month but we'll see I'm kind of hoping she'll be walking before her first birthday because I think that'll be fun for her birthday party and stuff like that, but it's really no big deal if she doesn't. Um, I know she'll walk at some point when, whenever she figures it out. So we do practice a lot, and I know she enjoys it, and I know she wants to be on the go. Oh, guys. 
She has mastered the stairs. Do not delete my, my hey, hey, here. She has mastered the stairs. I believe I talked about last month, she learned kind of how to crawl up the stairs, but she would only get to like one or two steps and then kind of freak out and not want to go up any further. And we do not have baby gates here. Our stairs are, so we cannot really install baby gates on the bottom, which is kind of an issue, but we do have like a, Sorry, my other kids are arguing about something. But we do have like a baby plastic gate on the bottom that we can put up there, but Jane and Jackson tend to take that down on their own. I don't know how they know how to do that. And then it's down, so hang on, let me. Okay, we have a visitor. Where'd you go? Here he is, you wanna say hi guys? Hi dad. Dad, dad. say hi guys. Hi guys. So you guys know what happens when he's in these videos. He'll probably start making a ruckus, but anyways. Um, if the, the gates are off of the bottom of the stairs, Piper is off and she can get up the top of the stairs in literally 30 seconds. She climbs up those stairs as fast as she can. Um, luckily we haven't had any issues yet and see, here he goes. But for the most part she knows how to, or she does know how to do it, not for the most part. She knows how to do it and so we're being very careful with trying to keep the gates up and keeping our eye on her. Piper finally said, Mama. Let's see, maybe she'll do it for the video. Say, Mama. Say, Mama. She's not into this today, you guys. Um, before this month, the only word or sounds she's really made was Dada. And again, even with Mama, I don't think she knows that I'm Mama. I don't think she knows that Chris is Dada. Those are just the sounds that she's making. Um, she's also said like Baba and Gaga this month. So she's definitely doing a lot more talking. She's very chatty now. Not very chatty because Jackson and Jane were super chatty. So compared to, to them, she's not super chatty, but she is talking more, which is very cute. Hearing her little voice come out. Oh, I don't know why I haven't tried to do these videos anymore, you guys. So Piper has four teeth coming in at the top and they're all coming in together. Obviously the four front teeth and then the ones on the side of that. I don't know if she'll be able to show you. Let's see those teethers, of course. Let's see those teethers. No, Baba. You see them? No. So anyway, she has those four teeth coming in all at once. She hasn't really been too fussy or anything, which is good, but I can't wait till they're all the way grown in because as you can see, they're like only like halfway coming out. So that is exciting. She'll have six teeth soon, or she does, but they're not all the way in. Piper is starting to show her like of music. We went to Jane's first dance recital. Actually, it was her first dance recital here, but it was her second. But Piper's first dance recital that she attended, and she was dancing. She was shaking her head and moving her body every time the songs came on, so that was super cute. And then when we're here at home, she does the same thing. She'll shake her head, kind of just move her little body, which is super cute. Piper did a squat to stand or did not like hold on to anything and stood up all by herself. One time that I saw, Chris thinks that he saw her do it another time and she maybe have, has done it without us seeing. But most of the time, obviously when they're first learning to stand and first learning to walk, they always go to something and like hold on to something to help them stand up. But she was in the middle of, a, of the floor and she just used her hands on the ground and did like a squat and stood up all by herself. So she is definitely on the verge of walking and on the verge of just being totally mobile, which is fun but scary at the same time. Somebody is doing something to my door. Jackson? There is starting to be a lot of sibling rivalry, which I should have guessed was gonna start early with this one because obviously when Jane was the only child until she was two and a half, she just pretty much got everything she wanted, not to sound like she was spoiled or anything, but she was only child. Then Jackson had to learn at an early age to share and we're still working on that and he's two, but um, there was a lot of like mine, mine, you know, back and forth. And this girl right here is able to hold her own with those other two siblings. I'm not proud necessarily of that because it's a lot of screaming, a lot of snatching, but she can definitely hold her own. If somebody snatches something out of her hand, she will freak out and let everybody know. And so it is easy for us to kind of help everyone learn how to share because we can know when somebody is snatching things out of her hand and teach them that that's not okay. 
and I'm kind of proud of her for doing that instead of just letting them walk all over her. She, she definitely tells them what's up. And so we are just going to be learning that and practicing that for a long time to come, I'm sure. Piper is now getting into everything. Not She's been crawling for a long time, but I feel like just now, this past month, she has started to get into everything. Like I said right before this video, she was in the toilet, messing with toilet paper. She gets into the dog food all the time, which was before this as well, and the dog water. She's getting into the pantry. She's opening up cabinets in the kitchen, getting into the cabinets. So we are going to have to be baby proofing soon, or like now, we're kind of in the middle of it. Um, but she, she does that. She likes to get into everything. We're finally at that stage. I feel like between now and like one and a half, maybe a little bit older, it's the time where they literally are learning what they can and cannot get into. And it is very hectic and crazy, but they're learning. So that is exciting at the same time. Piper loves the water. I mentioned this a little bit last month because we are just now getting into the summertime and the hot days. But not only does she like bath time, she loves the pool, like I mentioned last month. And now we've learned that she also loves the ocean. She will just crawl right into the waves. We were at the sandbar the other day and she was just crawling right into the water. Her face was getting in the ocean and everything and she just loved it. She kept, We kept pulling her back, she would keep going. We kept pulling her back, she'd keep going. Did not cry once about being in the water. She just loves it. She loves splashing. She likes putting her face in the water. So I'm so glad that all three of my kids are enjoying the summer, enjoying the water, enjoying the ocean. Babe, you can come in. Also this month we had our very first babysitter come. We vlogged about it as well, but um, Piper stayed with a babysitter for the very first time. And that is a babysitter that was not a family member. This was a new girl that we have found through some friends and Piper did a really good job. We made it so she came like right after their bath time. So really all she did was hang out with them for a little bit and then put them to bed. But Piper did really good. Everyone did really good. Jane and Jackson did as well. And the last thing I have on my list is that Piper is learning how to give kisses which is one of my favorite things. I feel like clap when a baby is clapping and like smiling and also when a baby gives kisses is like the cutest thing ever. So she is learning how to give kisses. I'm gonna try to go get her and see if she'll give me a kiss and show you guys what she does. Piper, you give mama kisses? Give me kisses. Mm -hmm. Give mama kisses. Mm -hmm. Give mama kisses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So she does just like Jackson used to do. She kind of just leans her head in, kisses. Mwah. Oh, thank you. Sometimes she'll do that open mouth kind of kiss, but most of the time she just leans her head right in. And some of the times she's said like, mm, like she's ready to kiss. What time is it? So I officially have the whole clan in here with me now. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I cannot believe that next month is gonna be Piper's one year update. We will have a fun one year montage and lots of fun videos for her birthday and birthday parties. So I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. And we will see you in our next video. Piper, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.